<clears throat> Hello. <laughs> I am the time traveling wizard, and today we're going to travel through time. We're going to visit the past, and then we're going to go to the future. And I'm going to take my beautiful friend on a journey through other divine awakening, time traveling things. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. So, are you ready to travel back to the past? Yes. Yes. When we travel to the past, we relieve the past, and when we relieve it, we re-experience in the now all of the things that we felt back then. So that is the power of powerful experiences, is because they echo. The experience ends, but the emotional trace lives inside of you and can be activated through memory. And memory is a, time of tra time, is a form of time travel when we remember something. Our body is not time traveling, but our emotions and our minds are. So, that is what we're going to do. <laughs> so, I want you to go back to last year's Out of Divine Awakening Festival mm -hmm. and just imagine the scenery, the beach, the waves, mm -hmm. the energy of all the people, the facilitators, all the magical beings there. And tell me which memory comes to mind, which memories come to mind. and. What do you see when you think about last year's Out of Divine Awakening Festival? First thing that comes to, uh, on my mind is Nulta Day. Nulta Day was the day before a festival. Okay, the when day it before was, the first day. Yes, when okay. it was my birthday. Yes. And it was so, so amazing because everything would happen. I mean, for me, it uh, was already amazing that I was on my birthday, on Ada uh, Boena, seeing that beautiful uh, sunset and feeling that beautiful energy of Ada Boena and um, being with my friends and uh, what happened. Uh, we had that dinner and um, then uh, somehow Henry was... Uh, it happened that uh, I was uh, saying about my birthday, that is, that is my birthday. I didn't want to mention that is my birthday because it was always uh, all, already enough that I was there. Yeah, and yeah. it happened and then Henry, Henry Amar started to sing and everyone started to sing. Uh, <laughs> and it was so, so beautiful. Some, uh, some girl was bringing the the ice cream one uh, Michael I think it's his name he was the uh, guitar player at the yes, festival yeah. yes he was uh, he sang your song or he played your song yes yes and it was so 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 beautiful and that is that was just null today and mm. other days on the other divine awakening it was really usually I'm posting uh, things but uh, these few days I didn't post because it was so so, um, how to say it, uh, so much energy, mm -hmm. so much things were coming, uh, coming out because it was my first, uh, festival and I didn't know what to ex uh, expect. And, uh, yeah, because I'm a little bit, uh, introvert, uh, person. So for me, it was really coming out of the uh, comfort zone. I mean, mm -hmm. expanding the comfort zone yeah. and, uh, yeah, uh, like workshops were really, really intense, but it was really amazing that. Um, How did you feel after an intense workshop? How do you feel after an intense workshop finished? How do you feel in your heart and in your body? Uh, <clears throat> in my heart, I was feeling so exhausted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was feeling so exhausted, and I was like, uh, like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> that means that the workshop was working. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> because, definitely. You know, Definitely, <clears throat> the workshops were uh, working, like everything what I experienced, I didn't experience never in my life. Mm -hmm. And it was really, uh, like, I was feeling relief because I was bringing... You released so much. Released, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I was bringing so much out of me. And that was really good because we, we uh, mm -hmm. have so much inside of us, yeah. which in this... Uh, 3D dimension, how I like to say, we store so much inside of us and we <sighs> don't expressing ourselves uh, enough, like yeah. the anger or whatever. Also, when we want to cry, sometimes uh, we don't cry. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know, someone was telling me that uh, when we cry, we always do this. It's, it's, it's like, a habit, like we yeah. want to stop the tears as soon as they start falling. But it's falling. not good yeah. because mm. it's like shame. 
Like, yeah. you're, or you're ashamed that you're crying. Don't do that. Mm, you should be like, yes. open your mouth, drink your tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. and uh, it was so, so powerful mm. and uh, amazing to experience that. And I'm really happy that uh, I will experience even more deeper uh, this, uh, this year. Yeah. Mm, you will probably, yeah, dive deeper because you're a different person now and you're upgraded. And every time and more you go, open. and more open, yes. and like, yeah, it will definitely be a much more profound experience. But in the end, we cannot compare because every experience is unique. Like, mm. there is no better, there is just different. But I want to touch on something that you said about like how when you go to Ada Divine Awakening Festival, and then, you know, during these workshops, uh, you're asked to feel certain things and release certain things. And when you start doing this, you realize how much you hold in you. And in our society, in the normal everyday society, I feel like we're too busy to actually feel. We have work, we have family, we have friends, we have things that we constantly do, and we'll never actually sit down to feel or to dance or to jump or to scream. And then when you go on this holiday, and not a divine awakening is a transformative holiday in which you are resting and yet you're doing so much at the same time, but you, you, you go out of your, like habits and your everyday life and you realize that now you have the time to actually deal with yourself and mm -hmm. with your emotions and I feel like we should be having these kinds of festivals every two months mm -hmm. for optimal health mm -hmm. once a year is definitely not enough but the magic is you go there you learn the tools and then you implement them with your small group of friends or by yourself or however you like yeah it's important <laughs> it's important that uh, for people to know that Really, if you don't, if you don't have uh, to go with someone, go by yourself. We are there. We'll be there, mm -hmm. and you can uh, always uh, come to us and say, "Hey, I'm alone. I don't have anybody." You have and like you're never alone at that divine awakening because strangers are not strangers. You know, I would just like walk around, like through like on the island and see someone and share a smile and immediately we dive deep about the deeper meaning of their tattoos or I start sharing what I felt on a workshop that morning and like mm, it's like everybody has a much more open heart and when you see someone come into your reality and you have an open heart you embrace them and they feel that and it's like it's one big family and your life changed uh, a lot from uh, last... Uh... Like, this this was my heart when I came to the festival, and day one, day two, day three, and it's like, it kept... Oh, I think, like, it was probably, like, day one, <laughs> day two, <laughs> day three. And it was like, it opened so much. I was a totally different person. Like, I was so open to people. I realized when I'm, like, in Belgrade, when I'm walking down the streets, I have, like, this wall, and maybe... It's keeping me safe, but I'm like, you know, um, have this wall when I see other people. I'm not like very open to strangers, but at Ada, I was like so not only open, but like I was inviting them into my heart space, which was amazing. And I really would like for all of you to experience this state of heart openness that happens so beautifully at this festival. And tell me now, are you ready to travel into the future? <laughs> and yes. of course there is no D the future there are many potential futures but I feel like um, like right now so many people like we the organizers of the festival and many of us who are coming there we're kind of focusing intensely on this festival on this place on this date and I feel like we are influencing it and this may sound woo but like um, strengthening the field so that like intention increases probability and when you set an intention for something that ha to happen it's more likely that it will happen so mm -hmm. we have many beautiful and strong intentions about this year's festival and i know that m all of that and much more than we can ever imagine will happen but you personally tell me what do you see when you close your eyes and you picture yourself going to out divine in september Mm. Who do you see? What do you see? What are you doing? What are you feeling? <clears throat> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, uh, just when I close my eyes and feel it, I have, like, uh, 
joyful uh, emotion and um, like you know that feeling when you can't wait something to, uh, to happen like that excitement excitement of, I like wait. I can't wait what is going to happen how it's going to be but mm. it's so different than uh, last year now it's like I can't wait to see what is going to happen and mm. I'm, I'm excited for the unknown and mm -hmm. because I, uh, I know it's so fun because it's fun not to know because it's yes. a surprise it's like I don't know what is going to happen but I know something good will happen something and then it's good. like woo and, and <laughs> like yeah but I'm so like uh, I'm always excited <laughs> I'm always excited for <laughs> for what <laughs> the dog yeah he's <laughs> he wants to say he's also excited. Yes. <laughs> he's like, I cannot wait. <laughs> I'm so much excited for cacao, which we are now uh, drinking. Cheers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I want to say like and send so much love for a uh, uh -oh. beautiful woman which is making uh, cacao. And um, yeah, like cacao is very, very special part of... Uh, of cacao ceremonies are yes. a special part of the festival. And like when you consciously drink this drink in a conscious way on that place, it's like you get high. And especially when you combine drinking cacao with dancing, which naturally it happens, you get high in a very beautiful and natural, sustainable way. And that is why I love Are Divine Awakening, because I, you, you get high naturally through dancing, through love, through connection, through just hugging. Like, hug and drug rhyme for a reason, because hug is a natural drug. Yes. And there are so many hugs during the festival, and so many embraces, and so many cacao. And, and because of where we are to the to the hug, it's amazing uh, on Ada Divine you hug a lot, and uh, you hug uh, not only like a few seconds like it's usually. Mm. Uh, that is something we don't do and what we need uh, in uh, our daily life. When you see your friend, like usually we just hey just yeah men we, usually themselves yeah, like two, two seconds uh, <clears throat> hug and then like that's why we are not connected that's why uh, we are not every day of life is not like we, we are not living like unity mm. because we are not anymore feeling each other anymore mm. and ex especially after the pandemic we need uh, hugging so much we need mm. connection so yeah. so much more and just try just try with your friends, it doesn't matter Extend if you... Extend the hug for a little while. <laughs> for a little while, and you will see how it's different, because uh, when you hug the person, your hearts are like this, and mm. then a connection is happening, because it's your best friend, it's your friend, why not to hug, mm. and uh, don't make it weird, you know, because hug is just hug, you know, we all, we are all energy, and we all... Um, need that energy to uh, exchange that energy mm. it's also uh, it's biology like when you hug uh, you you regulate your nervous system basically nervous system. you co-regulate each other's nervous system exactly. exactly it's healthy and it feels good and we should totally do more of it and it's also a very interesting feeling when you hug a stranger and like it's a stranger and you hug them and you realize during that hug, you just realize they're not a stranger. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a human. It's another human being. I may not know their their name yet, but I can feel their energy, and like hearts recognize each other. And for our hearts, there are no strangers, only other beating hearts. That yeah. You know. That that's why um, on my profile I have uh, that uh, word. It's uh, in La Cash. It's like your other part of me. Uh huh. It means you are another me, something like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Basic. <laughs> so true. <laughs> okay, I feel like fifteen minutes is enough. <laughs> and if you listen for the whole fifteen minutes, and maybe we cut the video, maybe it's not fifteen. Either way, if you made it to the end, that means that something inside of you is interested about this festival. Something is probably calling you. And if you feel that call, if you feel that interest. I encourage you to make the next step to visit the website, book the ticket, jump into the unknown, and you will be rewarded so, so much. Aho. Aho. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Aho.